What's up everyone, Danny Lennon back with another video. Today we're going to be running the Prestige Cup with the Bentley Continental GT Speed. It's October 2024. We're going to show you the last speed traps, the last sprint races, the final times, and that way you're going to find out if your car is going to be fast enough. I do have a video on how to drive this car, so just look up the car and Danny Lightning on YouTube and it should pop right up. So, let's get to this Prestige Cup, if I can speak correctly today. So let's get to the prestige. So let's get to the prestige cup. Let's go do it to it. So on race number 14, you have a zero to 100 where you have to beat about 2.6 ish. So there we go for race number 14. We'll be back with some more sprint rest races and speed traps in just a second. Here we have a speed trap of 203 miles per hour. So in order to beat this race right here, and I totally completely messed up my shift pattern. And uh, yeah, 203 miles per hour. <laughs> oh God, that was really bad for race number 16. So <laughs> my car did 70 out of 203. So we got that one, no problem. And that was a big old chunk of RP, which is really nice. But yeah, there we go for race number 16, man. I so screwed that up. All right, here we have a 0 to 100 race. So 3, 2, 1, go. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 94, 37. This car shifts like a crazy person, so it's not exactly fun to drive. But that guy did 2.2. So for race number 19, you're going to have to do 0 to 100 faster than 2.2 or something very similar. The guy you get might run a very slightly different time, but it should be pretty close to that. All right, now we have a speed trap of 226 miles per hour, and I'm pretty sure this is the final speed trap. So here we go. And I'm going to tell you what, this car is not pleasant to drive whatsoever. It's probably better to shift a little bit fast than to just bury the needle down because that will slow you down even more. That was from the race number 22 and 226 terrible miles per hour was the top speed that your car has to beat. So, yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and run probably the last five races or so. So here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, fifth, nitrous. I think we do nitrous on fourth or fifth, one or the other. It just shifts so darn fast, you just kind of got to smash the buttons and hope for the best. <laughs> this really is a terrible, terrible, terrible car. Hope you didn't have to spend too many keys to get this thing, because this car is not wonderful at all. It's pretty bad. I don't know. I think this. I think CSR2 Racing just doesn't like Bentleys, because there there is one or two Bentleys in the game that are good, but most of them are pretty bad. Like, if you get a Bentley... You're probably best off never upgrading it unless you need it for an event or something because they're really they're really not good cars. They're not nice to drive. They're just kind of uh yeah. They're, they're just like cars that set and look pretty and collect dust in your hangar. I mean, this car looks awesome. It is a really really awesome looking car, but it's it's not going to do anything for you other than frustrate you and make you angry and go, man, I wish this were faster or I wish this were better. I mean, that's pretty much what you're going to do when you're driving this car is complain, complain, complain. But, you know, it looks awesome. So there is that three, two, one, go. Now, I would definitely drive this thing in real life because it looks amazing. I mean, Bentleys are really cool. I, I think they're nice looking cars, but. This game seems to hate them. Let me pause this. I need to blow my nose. All right, so there we do. Number 27. There we do. Don't ask. Don't ask. I'm telling you, it's too early in the morning. Let's go do race number 27. We got a couple more races left. And remember, the best part about doing a prestige cup is getting the respect points for your crew. I mean, there's a bunch of little prizes and stuff and some keys, which is great. But it's a huge amount of respect points to help your crew do these. So if you're in a crew and you're trying to earn the milestone prize car every season, you might want to think about getting these prestige cup cars and doing them. Of course, you do want to save your keys as a new player. I mean, saving my keys was one of the best things I've ever done. You know, I saved up my keys for a few months. I didn't spend any silver keys for months, probably two or three months. I don't know. I mean, I know that's a long time, but I saved up like three or 4,000 silver keys or something like that. And ba-bam, next thing I know, 
I had a whole bunch saved up and I never struggled to get the Prestige Cup car again after saving for a couple months. It was, it was worth it, you know? It was a pain in the butt, but it was totally worth it and totally awesome. It was totally tubular, dude. Yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. There we got race number uh, 29 out of 30. So we're about to do the last race and find out what the final time is. Now remember, the car you get may be a little bit different. So it could run like a tenth of a second faster or slower. Or you could be super lucky. And there's usually one really slow car in there that you get every once in a while that runs way slower than the rest. But let's go do it too. It looks like we got to race some sort of McLaren. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I hit nitrous on the wrong gear, but I think I got enough parts on there. I mean, this has been a pretty easy prestige cup with the parts I have installed. I currently have the stage six tires, stage six transmission, and stage six nitrous installed. So I got the three of the best stage six parts installed on the car, and we were able to get through it no problem. Then we got a big 180,000 respect points right there, and that guy ran about a 9.0. So you're looking at you know, 8.8s, 8.9s, 9.0s, 9.1s, 9.2s. You should be somewhere in that ballpark on finishing the last race. Again, if you need to figure out how to drive the car, I do have videos on this, or somebody's got some videos on how to drive this thing. So check that out on YouTube. If you go to my channel and you scroll down, you will see my playlist that'll teach you just about everything you need to know about CSR2 racing. So if you're looking for game info, pretty much anything you need to know should be on those playlists or at least most things we got tuning playlist how to drive cars playlist basics playlist new tuners guide new this guide new that i don't know what i'm talking about but we got guides so anyways thank you for watching i appreciate it big time if you drop down the video's description you'll see my discord server some ways to help support the channel affiliate links all kinds of good stuff i'll put some of that in the pinned comment as well there's also going to be some really interesting game news down there in those links in the description some links to some game news i should say i'm totally messing this up and thank you for watching my video you guys are awesome